shout out to our sponsor, Hubble. Are you tired of overpaying for uncomfortable contact lenses? With Hubble, you can wear fresh contacts every day for $30 a month. Plus, you can get two weeks of free contacts when you visit hubblecontacts.com. Welcome to The Know, I'm Ashley Jenkins. Nintendo Switch is sold out, well, pretty much everywhere you look, but there are a lot of rumors swirling about the next big shipment coming to retailers. According to a number of anonymous employees, plus some Reddit sleuths, it looks like as soon as this weekend could be the time to check your local stores for a restock of Nintendo's new console. Several Target employees reported that shipments should arrive anytime between this Sunday, March 19th, and Friday, March 24th. One user even posted an image of the internal system showing March 24th as the date. Apparently, these shipments will be somewhere between 10 to 12 units, so not gonna be a ton of them. I advise checking if you're still gunning for one. Meanwhile, other rumors are pointing toward GameStop getting more switches in a similar time frame, seeing as how their trade-in deal lasts until March 19th. Very convenient. So start hitting those stores if you're still waiting to get your hands on the system. After loads of speculation that Switch could be getting a port of South Park fractured but whole, thanks to a rather vague Nintendo-ish tweet from the official South Park account, it looks like, well, everyone got their hopes up for nothing. A representative from South Park Studios confirmed as much to IGN yesterday, writing, South Park the fractured but whole won't be coming to the Nintendo Switch. It appears that the tweet may have just been about Winter Storm Stella, which was also hitting this week on the East Coast. However, some are still holding out hope that it could have been a hint for a Stick of Truth port sometime in the future. Ubisoft, however, declined to comment. We knew that Horizon Zero Dawn had a monster debut last month and very well deserved, but now we're getting a look at some of the game's actual numbers. Sony Interactive Entertainment announced today that Horizon Zero Dawn moved 2.6 million units in its first two weeks on sale. That 2.6 million units makes Horizon the best-selling new first-party IP launch on the PS4 system to date and Guerrilla's biggest debut ever. Sean Layden, chairman of SIE Worldwide Studios, said, Guerrilla has created a game that is nothing short of exceptional, and the reaction we have seen from fans, from hours and hours of gameplay streaming to endless photo sharing, shows just how impactful it's been. Now, coupled with that press release came the announcement by Guerrilla General Manager Herman Holst that the team is working on story DLC to accompany the game. So you'll get even more game sometime soon. Soonish, hopefully. Gears of War creator Cliff Blazinski, aka Cliffy B, has finally offered some thoughts on Gears of War 4 and what the Coalition is doing with the franchise. As part of the press rounds to promote the just launched beta for his new game Lawbreakers, Blazinski told GameSpot that the new game might have played it a bit too safe. Blazinski said, what the Coalition did was give the people what they want. Rod Ferguson did the J.J. Abrams episode seven. I've watched episode seven five times. I still get misty eyed and get all excited. But when I think objectively about it, I'm like, there wasn't a lot of risk there. So I'm hoping they take a little bit more risk in the future. As for Lawbreakers, it's closed beta kicks off today and lasts through the 19th. So if you don't want to play Mass Effect or Horizon or Zelda or Nier or, well, if, there's so many games that you can play that though and that one's gonna be free. One of gaming's most prolific developers is about to get some major changes at the top. Kotaku is reporting that multiple sources have told them that Telltale CEO Kevin Bruner is stepping down from his position. Bruner sent an email out to all of Telltale, creators of the popular Walking Dead, Wolf Among Us, and Game of Thrones, Sophie's Choice Simulators, writing, Today, I am writing to let you know that I'll be stepping away from my position as CEO of Telltale. We've grown aggressively since Telltale's inception, and now Telltale is bigger than I ever dreamed it would be. There are many possible features for Telltale, and all of them are exciting and uniquely challenging. The time has come to pass the reins to someone that can better drive Telltale to the next level and realize all the potential that is here. Brunner will reportedly stay on the company's board of directors with co-founder Dan Connors taking his place as CEO. It'll be curious to see if this affects much of the company's direction and what types of properties they choose to take on next. They basically have like every property they could ever wish for, so it'll be interesting to see what they do with them all. 
Now we've got news from the chip world. AMD says they will start shipping the mid-tier Ryzen 5 series of desktop CPUs on April 11th, so not very far away. Now unlike its Ryzen 7 series, which are aimed at gamers and hardcore enthusiasts, AMD's Ryzen 5 chips are intended for a more mainstream desktop audience. All four of the chips in the Ryzen 5 family are priced at less than $250, a comparable range to Intel's Core i5 chips. But according to PC World, AMD says that the power of the Ryzen 5 chip is much more comparable to Intel's Core i7 series, which means the new chips could provide a lot more bang for your buck. Still, you might want to hold on to your wallet for just a little bit. AMD still hasn't released performance numbers for the Ryzen 5 chips, saying they'll do it after orders for the chip have begun, which feels a little bit like saying, like, sure, we'll show you what you bought after you give us your money. So practice a little bit of skepticism, but it could be really, really great. Good news, Legion fans, it has been renewed by FX for a second season already. Collider reports that the X-Men spinoff, which stars Dan Stevens as the troubled schizophrenic Legion, will return for another season in 2018. Look, Legion is a bit of a departure from the typical Marvel show. It takes a much more surrealistic approach to its material, and viewers are often left wondering what the hell they just saw, but clearly it's made an impression. No word yet on how many episodes we'll get for season two. The first season is still ongoing and it's only eight episodes long, but hey, at least we know that Legion will continue getting the therapy that he very clearly, clearly needs. The director of Guardians of the Galaxy says that a third installment will definitely happen, but he might not be the one to direct it. James Gunn, who did the original movie as well as the upcoming volume two, told Complex that there will absolutely be a third installment, but there's still a lot to be ironed out. He added, I got to figure out what I want to spend the next three years of my life doing. You know, I'm gonna make another big movie. Is it the Guardians or something else? Now, that doesn't mean that he's walking away from the franchise though. Gizmodo reports that Gunn has given the Russo brothers a bunch of advice on how to direct the Guardians actors as they shoot the upcoming team up spectacular Avengers Infinity War. For now, you can check out Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. It's actually, it's coming out May 5th, so it's very, very close. On another note with superheroes, or sort of, it looks like Suicide Squad 2 will be trying something different from the first one. It'll have a writer. The Hollywood Reporter says that Adam Kazad, who wrote The Legend of Tarzan, is currently negotiating with Warner Brothers to write the sequel. Uh, given the financial success of the first Suicide Squad, which no one can argue with despite all of its troubles, Warner Brothers has said that a sequel is a priority, but it still doesn't have a director on board despite reaching out to everyone in the world, including Mel Gibson, which means that you know you've asked everyone. As for Kazad, he has a background in comic book movies, having worked on an adaptation of Bloodshot, and his Tarzan movie was a hit, grossing more than $356 million. So good luck, dude, you'll need it. Just make sure they give you more than six weeks. Hey, remember Gal Gun Double Piece? The game where you, you shoot anime schoolgirls with your orgasm gun that also had the $90 DLC that lets you see through their clothes? Well. Surprise, it's really popular. Dual Shockers recently interviewed Takuya Aizu, the president of Inti Creates, which developed the game, and he said that the game is doing better than expected. The game was localized for the West and brought to the PlayStation 4 and Vita last year, as well as the PC, and Aizu said it's sold four times more than originally projected. The game is ostensibly an on-rails shooter where you shoot your female classmates with something called a pheromone shot that puts the girls in a euphoric state, which allows you to proceed through the game. The game is also rated M for mature because irony. Still though, pretty funny also the DLC where you could like make their boobs bigger or smaller because you know, Japan. Anyway, that's all the news we have for you guys today. Let us know what you think of all these stories in the comments down below. Make sure you like this video and to get news from every corner of the internet every day, subscribe to the know. Thanks to Hubble for sponsoring this update. Look, if you wear contacts, you understand they can be expensive, they can be uncomfortable, just overall kind of a pain. I actually wore glasses for a really long time because of that. I just couldn't be bothered dealing with contacts. But Hubble actually sells directly to you, so they can offer contacts for half the price, so you can afford fresh contacts every day without breaking the bank and you don't get like itchy, painful eyes. Plus, they can send you to an optometrist if you don't already have a prescription or if you don't know your prescription. If you wanna give it a try, you can actually get 15 free pairs of contact lenses and come on, free's hard to beat. To get it, just go to hubblecontacts.com.